Hi, we are Sets VIT, a multidisciplinary team of undergraduates from VIT Vellu. Being a chapter dedicated to the exploration and development of space, the ERC-19 is the perfect opportunity for us to contribute to the space industry. We are a team of 26 students divided into 5 departments, Mechanical, Electrical, Programming, Science and Management. We are proud to present a Mars rover for ERC-19. Vyad 3.0. The mechanical framework of the rover consists of an aluminum alloy chassis to securely hold onboard components. The chassis sits on the top of four wheel double bogey suspension system. The suspension design and accompanying springs allow for the smooth traversal of undulating terrain and slopes while keeping the chassis steady. The four independent vulcanized rubber wheels provide traction and improve damping. The autonomous capabilities of the rover have been implemented using the Ross navigation stack and a Kinect V2 depth sensor. The Kinect sensor is used to get a 3D pointer out of the environment the rover is in and is put through to the move-based package of ROS which performs sensor fusion and path planning. The rover was simulated in Gazebo and the visualization of the data and the path was done using Arvis. All the core rover systems are controlled through ROS and monitored via the Vyad Web Control Center at the GCS. The 2.4 GHz communication system comprises of two Ubiquiti nanostation Loco M2s at the GCS and an Ubiquiti Rocket M2 with an omnidirectional antenna on the rover. We can access the odometry readings from the accelerometer and magnetometer. This data is used to operate the robotic arm using inverse kinematics to reach the desired target. Extra servicing tasks are performed by the robotic arm, which features 6 degrees of freedom and stepper motors for precise joint actuation. The arm has a reach radius of 1000 mm and employs worm gear boxes for backlash prevention. A camera mounted on the arm provides visual feedback to assist manual operation. The 3D printed end effector makes use of a 4 bar flow mechanism that allows for precise gripping of various cases. The detection of the case is carried out via color masking using OpenCV. Along with the remote kill switch at the GCS, the rover has a physical kill switch allowing for immediate halting of all rover operations during emergencies. Buck and boost converters have been used to supply the rated voltage, while heat sinks and cooling fans prevent overheating. Other safety systems include activity indicator LEDs, over voltage protection on wheel drivers, and subsystem specific PCVs to prevent wire tangling and disconnections. The science plan has been devised to obtain samples from different locations and depths. The samples will be cached into containers by drilling into different levels of soil using an auger which can be further scooped via a custom-made shovel effector. As part of in-situ analysis, sensor arrays are used for determining temperature, humidity, soil moisture content and bacterial decomposition. A spectrophotometer is designed to determine the presence and amounts of various elements in the sample. An optical subsystem with a 40x magnifying lens and an objective lens mounted in line with a webcam performs microscopic analysis. Cameras are secured at different stages of testing for automatic documentation. With the rover assembly completed and subsystem testing underway, we are looking forward for ERC-19. See you soon.